The most epic flight I've ever experienced was getting to fly a building demolition. So we get one shot and yeah. one shot only because yeah. once it's down, yeah. it's down. They're not putting it back up for us. There was only one drone that had approval to fly and so rather than sending up uh, a phantom or something that was going to be able to park and guaranteed get the shot, they decided to you know, take a risk and let the FPV pilot try and get something unique. I wanted to be diving down the building when the fire came out, when the explosion actually happened. Yeah, just nerves are settling in, and I don't even get like a practice run or anything. Like they're only cleared for like the the one flight, so I've no idea what to expect, what the RF situation is. It's just like kind of sketchy. I was so nervous to do this. All I knew was that uh, there was a countdown. So they started the countdown at 30. When they got to 14, I took off, headed for the building, just waited for that four, three, two, and I rolled into the dive. Looking down the face of that building as the just, the, the boom, the explosion hit, and feeling it in your chest. It was unreal, like my whole back was spasming. The highest pressure flight that I can think of where I was in China, we went to the Avatar Mountains where they filmed like the floating mountains uh, scenes in the middle of nowhere on the top of a mountain that you have to ride two buses and a cable car to get to, there is McDonald's. And there's these huge spires that go hundreds and hundreds of feet into the air, diving rock formations to get back there. If you crash, you're just not getting it. There's no way to get it back. And on top of that, I'm scared of heights. And I am on a platform that is maybe 15 feet by 10 feet and got rails. And I know that I'm on top of one of these spires and all I can think about is, oh my God, if there's an earthquake, then I'm done for it. This is it. There were these uh, French tourists there and they had seen the other guy fly. And so I couldn't like back down and not fly in this scenario. I managed to pull it off, but it was terrifying. <laughs> I have fear of height and I love flying FPV because it's like just scratching that itch of being able to just jump off that cliff. <laughs> How this part of FPV is flying around the boat when the boat is moving? It's pretty insane to be in a moving vehicle trying to keep your drone level while your body itself is shifting around back and forth. And you're trying to keep yourself upright, trying to keep your goggles on your head, your radio, you know, in your hands. But I didn't vomit yet, so thanks. <laughs> You have director of photography, you have the uh, director, you have a whole film set just looking at what you do. So there's a lot of pressure, of course, and, but I like it, to be honest. You're there, um, you have an insanely fast, agile aircraft with, an cam with a camera attached, which goes up to 160 kilometers per hour, and it's just on you to get the shot. You know, the threshold from failing or absolutely succeeding in getting the most insane shot is like, it's basically like walking on the razor's edge all the time. But if you get it right and you're super close, everybody's like, wow, that is the best shot ever. You know that, you're aware of that. And um, it's just a great feeling if you nail it. And luckily, <laughs> I nailed most of the time. So not far from Chernobyl is this huge antenna array called the Duga antenna. Still took one look at this thing and he instantly said, all right, whoever dives this thing is the king of dives. It took a couple of practices outside of the antenna array including one practice one where I went into the antenna at even just like a third of the distance, crashed before I hit it. And I mean, this thing was so massive, I knew just looking at it, like there was only gonna be one attempt at getting this dive in because you either get it or you don't and your quad is in like a million pieces. <laughs> I 
as soon as I made it out of that thing, I, I don't even remember what, I think I started dancing. It was just, I was just on cloud nine after that. Before you go, if you're interested in watching the entire Flow State film from start to finish with no ads and in much better image quality than YouTube gives you, not all 1080p's are made equal. Some 1080p's are higher bitrate and better image quality than others. If you want all that, there's two options. Number one, you can buy the film on Vimeo. There's a link in the video description below to where you can pick that up. Or if you're one of those people who still collects and watches physical media, I know you're out there. We sell it on Blu-ray. And again, there's a link in the video description below as well. On the other hand, if you want to keep watching on YouTube, all the videos are in a playlist, including the outtakes and director's cut stuff, the stuff that didn't make the final edit. Uh, and I'll put cards on screen and links in the video description to those. See you there.